Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Carlson inside the Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, Washington, and I'm with Dan Hubble of Microsoft. And Dan, if I'm getting a little older, what can I do with my computer to make it easier to use? Well, there's a few things that we can do, and, and today we're going to talk a little bit about what we might do if we're starting to have problems with our vision. So the first thing that I have here that you'll notice is a keyboard that's in high contrast. It's yellow keys with big bold black letters that just make it a little bit easier for me to actually see the keys when I'm typing. The second thing is um, built into Windows 7, we actually have a magnification program that allows me to zoom in on parts of the screen that might be harder for me to see when they're at their default size. So here I have a standard menu that we would see in Windows, and I simply just need to press the Windows key and the plus sign to zoom in on this menu. Okay. And so you can see that I've actually zoomed in significantly on this piece of the menu, which makes it easier for me to see. So when I press the Windows key minus, that's how I zoom back out. Very cool. The last thing that I'll show you are some ways that you can make the mouse easier to use um, in Windows 7. So uh, by default, the mouse is actually fairly small and hard to see, and it's white. So if I go to the Start menu, and in the search box, I type in mouse. It gives me a number of mouse options. I'm going to click on the one that says change how the mouse pointer looks. When I click on that, it brings me to a menu that has a series of options here. By default, it'll be in the system scheme of Windows Arrow. Now, if I wanted to make this a little bit bigger, I can click on this and I can say, I would like the Windows Arrow extra large system scheme. And when I do that, and apply, my mouse pointer actually almost doubles in size. Mm. I can also click a Windows inverted system scheme, extra large, which actually will then invert the color of whatever the background color is. So on white text, the mouse cursor will be black, oh. and on black text, the mouse cursor becomes white. So okay. that way you can always see your mouse. Oh. Uh, it'll be an inverted color. Mm -hmm. The last one that I could choose then would be a Windows black in an extra large, and this would actually just make it a solid black mouse cursor. Now, in addition to this, if I click on the pointer options tab within the same window, there are two other options here under visibility that give me the easier ability to see my mouse. One is something called pointer trails, and when I turn those on, you'll notice that the oh. pointer actually now sort of has a tail of repeating characters that show where it's been. So you can see that my mouse is sort of now following me around the screen. Makes it a little easier to see. Mm -hmm. The other one is an option that allows me to show a location beacon whenever I press the control key. And when I click on that option, when I press the control key, you'll see a series of concentric circles starting wide and getting narrower around my mouse that sort of look like a, a radio beacon oh, okay. that show me the location it makes it easy of my to find. mouse. And it makes it easier to find. Great. Thank you, Dan.